So basically, here's a quick and dirty tutorial to teach you guys how to get your Android phone on your desktop computer. So first thing we're going to do is go to your phone. Now this is obviously um, my phone running on my desktop. We're going to go to settings. Then you're going to scroll to the bottom. And this is working with an Android phone. I'm not too sure about um, other brands. But yeah, we're going to go to about phone. Then we're going to scroll to the bottom and what you're looking for is build number. Now, I'm not entirely sure um, if build number is in a different spot, but basically you're going to click this eight times. OK, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It enables developer mode, which gives you a whole bunch of tools which you can use. OK, so now um, we've done that. We've enabled developer mode. So now you have a few options. You can either plug your phone in to your computer via a USB or you can go back to settings and search for developer options. And you're going to want to scroll down um, in developer options. And you're going to look for USB debugging, right, which you're going to turn on. OK, very, very cool. Um, so now we're going to go back to our computer. And we're going to use something called SCRCPY, Scrapey. OK, now I'll leave a link in the description for this. OK, and you want to probably get the latest version for your computer. And I'm obviously using Windows, so I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to look for um, we're sort of having a look through prerequisites. So you need an Android 5.0 or later. Um, and it gives you more information. But the thing you want is get the app here. And we're going to click on Windows. And I'm using the 64 bit version of Scrapey. OK, so now what we're going to do is basically unzip the zip file into a folder somewhere. I've used this one, for example. And basically all you then need to do is connect your phone. OK, you're going to run Scrapey. And what you'll see is a prompt on your phone asking if you want to connect to Scrapey and you're going to click yes on that. So if it fails first time, it's actually OK. But once you've clicked a yes on your computer, you're going to want to do that again. All you have to do is um, run Scrapey and then you should see this basically appear. So basically, yeah, if you have any issues, let me know in the comments. I think I've covered everything. Um, but yeah, now you can basically record your phone. So this is really, really useful, for example, if you want to record a computer game that only runs on a phone and you can't use something like BlueStacks, um, which is actually my use case. Um, you can do screen recording with something like OBS if you want to. And yeah, there's a lot of cool things you can do. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you very much and have a great day. Oh, and OK, little bonus for you guys. So um, if you want to use um, Scrapey from the command prompt, um, most users don't need to do this. But if you want to do it, what we're going to do is we're going to go to environmental details. So go to Windows, type in ENV. And you want to find edit the system environmental variables. And you're going to want to go to environment variables at the bottom here. Go to path. OK. Click edit. Now click the um, link that you want to copy. Um, this should be the window with um, scrapey.exe and the other files. And all you're going to do is basically click new, then add in the path. OK. That's it. Now, if I close Scrapey, for example, OK, we're going to go to um, CMD and right click and go run as administrator. And we are literally going to type in CR, uh, I'm sorry, SCRCPY, enter. And as you can see, 
is now running from the console, which, you know, might be useful for various reasons. Anyway, um, hope you found that useful. If you did, let me know, and have a great day, guys.